dioxide, graphene oxide, other metals, nanotechnology, components that are being injected into people and not being disclosed. Well, if you don't know what's being injected into your bloodstream, you are not consenting. If you do not consent, whoever has injected you has unlawfully, criminally assaulted you. Okay, so the law of negligence says that if you go against somebody's bodily integrity, you have assaulted them. That's also contained in section 20, section 23, section 47 of the Offences Against the Person Act 1861. Okay, this is also a breach of the Nuremberg Code 1947. And for those of you who don't know the Nuremberg trials, they were held at the end of the Second World War because people like my uncle, Uncle Stan, was in a prisoner of war camp in Germany and he and others had to endure medical treatment without their consent. He escaped, many didn't. He went back through the resistance, back to England, and he knew how horrendous it was for all those people in the camps. So he went back out there, God bless his soul. And my father was one of the first to release people from those camps. And he brought me up, taking me to those camps, taking me around those battlefields, and told me, never ever forget this, because the war has not ended. These trials produced a certain amount of evidence, but the evidence that they proved is that this is an ideology. This is a regime. This is a eugenics genocide program. And I see you all nodding. And the fact is, it's been going on for as long as we can remember. It's just all now coming to light. But what happened at the end of the war was that the Nuremberg trials were held and various people in society were held accountable for genocide, crimes against humanity, war crimes, crimes of aggression. And the medical trials were the trials of the doctors and the nurses of the Third Reich. And in those trials, they held, had produced the Nuremberg Code, which is binding international criminal law. And the first principle of the Nuremberg Code is that the voluntary consent of the individual is absolutely essential. And that means it has to be free from duress, coercion, intimidation, sanctions, guilt tripping, any kind of measure used to gain compliance vitiates consent. What that means is it makes the consent void and of no effect, which means that that person has now been criminally assaulted and battered. Okay, so some of those doctors were hanged, some of them were put in prison, and some of the nurses were still found guilty in the 60s. Okay, and Adolf Eichmann was only brought to trial in the 60s and hanged in 1962. Okay, most of the Germans, the Nazis escaped to Argentina, they escaped all over the world, they were taken to America and put into the pharmaceutical companies there. Look up Operation Paperclip. Okay, this has been going on for a long time. So the point is, you have the right to refuse consent. You have the right to know what's being put into your body. You have the right to be told of all the risks and the harms. And if you're not, you have not consented. And that's the basis of us demanding that the police investigate these measures. Because the evidence is now overwhelming that people have not consented. And unfortunately, the statistics show a vast number of people have already died. Millions have been severely disabled and injured. And more are currently being harmed. Because I'm afraid the evidence shows that these undisclosed ingredients, such as graphene, are toxic to the body. They can't be broken down by the body. And they're building up in people's body, destroying the immune system, and destroying the limb system, causing cancers and vaccine induced AIDS. So any of you who've been injected without your consent, please report it to your local police station. Please demand that they investigate. Criminal references are now being issued by police forces around the world. This is a live criminal investigation, whether the police in this country accept it or not. It's too late. The investigation's already been conducted. We have all the evidence. So please believe me, folks. This is a breach of Article 6, Article 7, and Article 8 of the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. That's genocide, crimes against humanity.
humanity and bio-warfare. And that's the analysis of us lawyers around the world. It's not just my opinion. We peer into each other's analysis of evidence. I'm going to have to stop now because my voice is going. But please do ask any questions. Has anyone got any questions?